Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Rusty Mango Design. This is the first in a series of tutorials about the WordPress Customer Area plugin and how you use it. In this tutorial we're going to go through how you add new users into your customer area so that they can access the parts that the regular site visitors can't get to. As you can see I'm on my dashboard already and down the left hand side there's a number of options in our main menu. The one we're looking for straight up today is Users. We're going to add in a new user so we go across and click on Add New. This brings up our Add New User screen and I'm going to give this person a username. This could be their first name, you can do it, use it like that or it can be a pseudonym, doesn't matter. I'm just going to call this one Bob and I'll put Bob's email in here. And just go down the screen adding in all the different options. You can add a website if they have their own website. Password, show password. It gives a very, very complicated password by the generator. You can change that. So uh, I'll change mine to something a little bit easier to remember. Okay, there's a very easy password. It does say weak. If you want to make it strong, you can add more symbols in, more numbers. If you want to keep it as a password like that, you'll just simply need to come down here and tick the box that says confirm use of weak password. Send user notification. If this box is ticked, it will send the new user information about their account and it obviously uses this admin email up here. And for the WordPress custom area plugin, you'll need to list them as a subscriber. Make sure you don't put them as anything higher than a subscriber because they will be able to access parts of your site that you don't want them to get to. So make sure, this is very important, make sure you keep that set as subscriber. You can add two sets of uh, roles in if you want to. We're just going to leave our users as subscribers for the time being. Once you're happy with all the entries, click on add new user. And you'll see Bob's come up there as our new user and there's his information across there. To make them able to edit the forum or add things to the forum that are, is included on, on this particular site, I have to edit that username again. If you don't have a forum, the step's over, you've added a new user. But if you do have a forum, you'll need to come back up to this list here and under that new user, you'll need to click on edit. And this brings up the user's information and you scroll all the way down to the bottom. By the way, this is where you can change passwords if one of your users has forgotten their password. You can do that in here as well. But we're looking for this bit down the bottom here that says forum role. And what you want them to be is obviously a participant. If you want them to be able to moderate your forum for you, you can put them as a moderator as well. But Bob, in our case, is just going to be a participant. Click update user. Now in this particular site, Bob can now log in and go to the practitioner portal and he'll have his information come out, come out here. He'll also be able to access the forum that's included as part of that portal.